Hey, this is Matt from Investing One. Today is Tuesday, February 28, 2023. Today is the last trading day of the month. The month has been bearish so far, and we're going to be looking at what has happened historically on this day in a bearish environment. Let me go ahead and get this set up using all four instruments. Our setup is based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, right now, at the time of this recording, we are trading higher in the overnight session, trading up at the highs of the session, actually. So I'm going to go to opening filters, click on gap direction, gap up to add that piece of information to the test. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the price patterns library. From here, I'm going to grab one piece of information, and that's going to come from the act of today, which is telling you what is true uh, from this library for today. So if I scroll down to where was the close relative to the last month close? Yesterday's close was below the prior month close. So I just clicked on that. It's been added to the test. It comes from this location of last open and close uh, category. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the indicators library. I'm going to add one moving average. Uh, this kind of works as a short-term moving average because it's looking at a close relative to where a price was uh, 30 days or 22 trading days ago, technically. Um, and then I'm going to say we closed. Well, let me just grab it from the active today. It's right there above a 200 day simple moving average and lastly in the calendar library i'm going to go to active today and click on the unique day last trading day of the month so i've got everything that i need here now i can click view results And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when you are gapping up on the last trading day of the month and the prior session closed below the prior month close but above a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we have 26 samples in the S&P, 27 in the NASDAQ, 27 in the Dow, 26 in the Russell. If we look at the win rates on these, S&P coming in a little bit weak, 46% of these have closed above the opening print. NASDAQ very weak. About 30% have closed above the opening print. Dow coming in 41%, and the Russell is a bit of an outlier over here at 65% of those have closed above the opening print. So much stronger there. If we look at the average moves, the average loss larger than the average win here in the S&P. And that's the case in the other instruments as well. You can see it there in the NASDAQ. That's also uh, larger there in the Dow and in the Russell. So all four of these have had average moves to the downside that were larger than the average move to the upside. And three of the four have win rates that are weak, with Russell being the only exception. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.